Hi, SAP HANA Smart Data Access option allows you to access remote data as if the data was stored in local tables in SAP HANA without copying the data into SAP HANA. This is one of the key concepts that is used to connect different database and to perform read write operations on data without loading locally. The remote non SAP data sources that are supported on Intel based hardware plot platforms are Apache Hadoop Teradata database, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle database and IBM DB. Let us move to SAP HANA studio and see how smart data access works. In this tutorial we will discuss about the smart data access in SAP HANA. So SAP HANA smart data access allows you to access the remote data as if the data was stored in your local tables in SAP HANA and that too without copying the data into the SAP HANA system. So this capability provides the operational and the cost benefits and supports the development and deployment of next generation analytical applications requiring the ability to access, synthesize and integrate the data from multiple systems in the real time regardless of where the data is located or what systems are generating it. So we have the different remote data sources which are supported on the Intel based hardware platforms that is your SAP HANA, SAP IQ, SAP Adaptive Server Enterprise, SAP Event Stream Processor, SAP HANA Smart Data Streaming, SAP MaxDB, Apache Hadoop, Teradata, SQL Server, Oracle and IBM DB. So all these are the remote data sources which are supported by the Intel based hardware platform. So let's see how we can access the smart data a smart data access. So if we expand our SAP HANA system and after that if we go to the provisioning so here we have the smart data access. So let's double click the smart data access and see what all options we can see in this. So first of all we have the query monitoring. So this is my query monitoring and we can see the SQL text, the start time, end time, execution time, status and after that we can see the rows and the remote source name. So if, uh, if we want to monitor any query execution we can do that from the query monitoring tab which will provide me about all the execution statistics of the particular query. After that we have the connection monitoring. So we can also monitor the different connections which we are using in the smart data access. So we can see which connection is that, what is the status of the connection, which client it is connecting to, what is the source name, what is the source user, after that what is the start time, what is the statements and what are the different details. So all these we can monitor under the connection monitoring. Then we have the system parameters. So if we want to view and update the smart data access parameters in the configuration editor, we can use this smart data, uh, we can use the system parameters tab under the smart data access. After that we have the remote sources. So let's see how we can create the different remote sources using the remote sources option. So we can use the SAP HANA studio or the SQL console to create a remote source. So the parameters required may vary by the ODBC driver. So there are different prerequisites of it that you should have the system privilege, create, money, create the remote source or data admin. After that you have configured an ODBC connection from SAP HANA to the remote database and then the remote data source is reachable by the network from the computer you are using. So these are your uh, prerequisites which are required if you want to create a remote source. So if you expand this remote source, so here you can see the connection which is already existing. If you want to create the new one, you can right click it. Once you will right click, you have to go to the new remote source. As soon as we will click on the new remote source, it will open up the window wherein first of all we have to give the source name. So here we can give the remote source name. So let's say if we give the test underscore demo. After that 
here is the adapter name adapter name means it will tell us to which data source we want to connect if we go to the drop down here we can see all the different databases we can connect to using this remote source option that is we can connect to the teradata we can connect to the iq hana harup generic odbc oracle ms sql tiza db2 max db harup but when we go to the different configurations we will see that all the different things we have to configure will depend on the connection type we are selecting so let's say if we select the adapter name here here as the teradata so here we have to tell the adapter version we have to tell the connection mode that is the data source name we have to give the dml mode so either we can have the read only or we can have the read and write so we have to select the dml mode then we have to specify the connection uh, connection details that is the credentials what we, what should be the credentials to connect to this database so we can have the username we can have password after that what is the credential mode so if we go to the another database like might be oracle so here also we have to specify the different properties that is the adapter version then the connection mode configuration file data source name dml mode so all these different things we have to specify whenever we are creating any connection here in the remote source area then this is the source location so we have the option of index server so all these will be helped by the index server so this is my source location so this is how we can connect this is how we can connect the different data sources from the sap hana system using the data sources remote source thank you